been a while since we've done an arm workout, so I wanted to take you through some of my favorite exercises for building beautiful shapely arms. I do get asked quite often, how do I tone my arms? Now, if you're looking to tone a muscle or a muscle group, keep in mind it's a function of a couple of different things. So we're looking to build the underlying muscle. That's going to give you that shape. It's gonna give you that firmness and it's gonna give you that fullness. But if you're looking for tone and definition, it's also going to require you to be at a certain level of body fat. So if you have a, a little bit more than you'd like, reducing that body fat percentage is going to help with overall tone definition and help you see those muscles a bit more. So this workout can definitely help tighten everything up. If you think about it, it's kind of like a one, two punch, build muscle, reduce body fat. If you like these workouts and you want some more of them, you want to put them all together, I do have programs. So check out aaronsternfitness.com to see more. Without further ado, let's get in the gym and train. Our first exercise is concentration curls. I've got the bench up to an incline of about 60 degrees and I'm starting with the non-dominant arm. So I'm starting with my left arm and I've got my right leg forward. This is going to help to stabilize and I've got my upper arm on the bench, but I'm pulling back slightly. And what this is going to do is it's going to help take that front delt out of the equation a bit more. With this exercise, it's very important that your shoulder and your elbow and your wrist are in a perfect line. So if you need to take your hand and place it on the inside of your elbow to make sure everything stays in a straight line, that's okay. Take your time with the negative or eccentric portion of the exercise. And then when you curl upwards, pull the dumbbell to just before perpendicular. This is gonna help keep constant tension on the biceps. Now when you switch sides, remember, perfect practice makes perfect. So you're going to ensure that your upper arm is in the same position, everything is in alignment, you're pulling back just a little bit to keep that shoulder out of the equation, and you've got that opposite leg forward. Wrist stays nice and straight. Now you can, at the bottom, bend that wrist back just a little bit and then curl it forward as you're pulling towards the top. You're also going to wrap your thumb here. This is going to help really engage that bicep. Now as you get tired, it's perfectly fine to spot with the other hand. Next, we're going to move into an incline push-up. I absolutely love this exercise for triceps. So yes, it is easier than a typical push-up, but you're using a closer grip. So your hands are going to be closer than shoulder width apart. Hands are going to be on the edge of the bench, body in plank position. Very important that you keep your elbows close to your sides and really think about engaging and squeezing those triceps at the top part of the rep there. Head and neck stay nice and neutral and the weight is going to be through the toes. You can almost think about this exercise like a tricep push down, but you're using just body weight so you can really control the tension. Next, we're gonna move on to French press. Now, typically I like to use an easy bar, but for this workout, we're gonna use just dumbbells. So incline is right at about 60 degrees again, and thinking about extending the arms back Everything should be even, so left and right should be a mirror image of each other. You want to keep your elbows close to your head, keep your wrists straight, and again I'm wrapping the thumbs around the dumbbell. And the entire time I like to think about keeping that upper arm in the exact same position. So your hinge point is going to be your elbow. Really, really important. So if you start moving that upper arm, you're going to pull a little bit more lats into the equation and it's not going to hit the triceps as well. So think about keeping that upper arm immobilized. Feet are flat on the floor. Back is nice and flat. No momentum whatsoever. Next exercise is going to be a cross body curl. 
Now with this exercise, I like to keep my arms extended the entire time. And I find that this helps hit that outer head of the biceps. So if you're looking for beautiful curves, you've got the nice round cap delts and you want that curve, it's gonna be a combination of building up the bicep and of course the triceps, but this is really gonna help bring out the curve of the arm. So we're keeping constant tension here, alternating left to right, mirror image from left to right, and you're basically keeping that upper arm immobilized, and again, just using the elbow as a hinge. Try to stay as still as possible with the rest of your body too. All right, we're gonna go into kickbacks. Now with this exercise, it is so important to stay still with your body. I'm using super light dumbbells here and I'm keeping my upper arm at about parallel to the ground. Now with this exercise, I tend to kind of let the, the arms go back, but a little bit outward. And you can play around with wrist positioning here. So you can see how it feels to sort of twist as you reach that mid rep point. But two most important things are feet shoulder width apart and immobilize your body. Okay, we're getting into our burnouts. These are our last two exercises. So first of the last two, partial curls. So you're gonna sit on a bench, your back is going to be perpendicular to the ground and legs extended out slightly, arms extended out slightly, and you're going to partial curl as many reps as you can. This is just one set, so really make it count. Extend the arms, you can lightly touch the tops of your quads and keep it going, rep it out. So again, as many reps as possible, and you're done with All right, we're gonna do some diamond push-ups as a burnout. This is just one set, as many reps as you can do. Keep your body in plank position. Keep your elbows close to your body. Keep your shoulders away from your ears, <laughs> so try not to shrug. And really focus on moving your body with just those triceps. Now, as it gets tired, get down on the knees. Finish it up, finish strong. There's nothing wrong with doing a burnout set or if you're not strong enough yet, you can do the entire burnout just like this. When you're training the arms or any other muscle group and you're doing isolation or single joint exercises, you can keep that recovery to a minimum. So with these exercises, you're looking at about 45 seconds in between each set. This is gonna help keep your heart rate up and help keep you spending less time in the gym. If you like this video, please consider subscribing and don't forget to click that little bell. You'll be the first to know whenever a new video comes out. And if you try these workouts and you absolutely love them, please tag me on social media. I really enjoy seeing you take these exercises and make them your own. That's it for this time. Until next time, thanks for watching and train hard, y'all.